Uh, today we're going to go over uh, uh, one of our frequently asked questions, how to display data and how to use a web browser in KingView. Uh, today I'll show you how to do this with some of our GPS modules. Uh, the connections to the GPS modules uh, are, are using Modbus registers. Uh, let's see, these are some of our GPS modules. Uh, these are the uh, if you can see my mouse moving, these right here are for our PAC controllers and PLCs. Uh, this right here is our GT540P. This is a standalone GPS module, and this is our G4500 series. Uh, this is the second slide with the same modules. Let's see, okay. Let's see, in order to display ActiveX control uh, in the Win or in the Kingsgate and Kingview, you need to first install ActiveX on your PC. Uh, we have an ActiveX controller that uh, we think works better than the one already installed, so you can get the, a copy of that from us anytime. It's called uh, kinghtmlview.ocx. Uh, I think we're going to post it on the website too, but for now, we have a copy of it. Uh, the procedure to do this, I'll go over this, uh, an example of how to do this later. But this, is, we'll just go through the six slides that we have presented first. Uh, so you just simply go to your start uh, menu on your PC and go to the run. Usually it's under accessories. And then you type REG SVR32 to register. And then you select the file name by browsing. And again, we'll send you that file if you so desire. Let's see, and you just uh, click OK, and it will install. And hopefully you get this message right here, that it succeeded. Uh, when I tried installing it, I actually had an error. So I'll go over briefly how to uh, fix that error. It was actually had to do with the, the user controls on my PC were set too high. So I'll show you how to avoid that restriction as well. So if you do not get this error, you don't need to worry about that, but if you do get an error, uh, most likely it has to do with a user control security level or something. So I'll go over that briefly. Uh, so the next slide I have, uh, once you're in Kingview and Kingsgate and once you have the ActiveX control started, you simply insert an ActiveX control element into uh, your uh, Touch Explorer, and I'll show you how to do that as well later. Uh, then you uh, simply set up the initial URL for the browser control uh, within the uh, picture property windows. And this is done with a script, and I'll show you how to do that as well. Let's see. And finally, uh, once you have done all these steps that I'll show you shortly, uh, you're able to read in the red. These are actually uh, pre-done. These are actually the Modbus data from the GPS modules that we have uh, connected right now. I'm not sure if we have one connected or if it's just uh, reading the data from the previous instance. But this would be a sample screen of what we will see. And once you get the data, you simply enter the coordinates and click search. And if you're lucky, you'll find your coordinates and if everything's set up right. Okay? Let's see, that's for that. Now let me show you the real stuff. Again, let's see, the ActiveX control element that you'll need for this you can obtain from us to do to install it you simply go to start and go to all programs I'm using Windows 7 by the way so if you need to do some uh, on XP it I believe there's actually a run button on the bottom left like right here let's see you go to accessories run and let's see I'll clear this since I know where it is what I'd want to do is browse to it I know it's on my desktop. So that's where I saved it. Let's see. Desktop. And the file is called kinghtmlview.ocx. And what I want to do is highlight it, but don't click on it. You just go to the beginning and type in regsv. R32 followed by a space with the file name there. 
I already have it installed. I'm not sure what it'll do, but I'll just click OK to show you. Okay, and you should see a menu or a message rather, like this: succeeded. If in fact you get at this point you get an error, let's see. If all goes well, you should see this message right here, um, that it succeeded for installation. But if you don't, let's see. Then you have to go to your control panel. And let's see, it's under user user accounts. And let's see, you go right here to change user account control settings. And let me go back there. Once you do that, first, what you do is you bring this all the way down to the bottom to never notify. You click OK. It'll prompt you to restart your computer. Uh, once you restart your computer, you do the same thing I did about registering the OCX file. And then after it's successful, you bring this back up. You go back to the same uh, user uh, control, and you bring this back to where it was. Okay, and so it's back to normal. You just have to temporarily bring this down to install the ActiveX file. And you click OK, and then it'll prompt you to restart your computer. Okay, uh, next. Let's see. So once you've installed the ActiveX component, you would open up uh, Touch Explorer. Let's see, this is actually a little bit further. Let's just minimize this. Go here. Oops. Close it. Touch Explorer. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so you'd come here to your picture. Uh, we have a, this is a sample of the project. This is what uh, Luna did for us. Let's see, right here, in this uh, square, it's set to display the, what's in the Modbus register for the latitude. This will display the longitude coordinates. Right here, you uh, type the URL, or it will actually be entered. I'll show you how to do that. Actually, let me just do that now. You just double click on it, and it's under string. Let's see what she has as local user URL input. Okay, and let's see. Then let's see for set URL. This is where it actually sets the string right here. Let's see for key down. It's this. Okay, so it's done within the properties of each uh, in the animation links. And let's see right here. This is where uh, the control element is. This is where the browser window will appear. So let me run this project really quick so you can see it. See, I didn't make any changes, so I don't need to save it. Let me just minimize this or close that. Go here. We'll run the project. And then I'll actually show you how to set it up or how to add a browser window. Okay, so I was already in runtime. This is what the project will look like in the very end. Let's see, I'll show you how to set up the browser window. Uh, this is an extra, uh, let's see, for the browser window, it's not just for displaying apps. You can also use this as a regular browser as well. I mean, up here, you type like google.com back and it should bring you to Google. Oh, well, it's brought you back to maps. This is like a uh, see MSN. See, as you can see, it's just a, a normal browser window. Oh, I'm sorry, we don't want to do maps. We want to search. So it'll bring you here. So it's just like a normal browser window within a uh, King View or King Skata. Okay. Now let's see. To set this up, let's see now. Go here. Let's see. Here. Let's just create a new. Close this. I don't know why it went back here. Oh, I have to cancel this. That's why. Oh, okay. you set the picture properties. 
then you click OK. Make sure it exists, change the name. Okay. Test map 2. OK. Now let's see, can you see the toolbox OK? Right here, this is where you insert a general control. And let's see, from previous in our installation, uh, we used King View. King view control. This is what we installed previously. Well, actually, I'm sorry, it's King HTML. Oh, yeah, okay. King HTML view control. That's right. Click OK. And you select where to add it. And this will be your browser window. Okay, next you can create your buttons for your controls. So for instance here, double click. Uh, once you go key down, and you want to insert a control element, and you select the object. Actually, let me go back really quick. When you double click here, it'll show you the element it is. So I created this, and it's actually called CTRL2. So you need that. So you cancel this. So back to the button properties. Key down. Control element for the control name. CTRL1. Oh, I'm sorry. Before doing this, you have to actually save. Let's see. File. Save picture. Save all. Okay. And then once you do that, it will appear. CTRL2. Okay, and these are all the properties. Okay, once you, oops, I'm sorry, CTRL2, and you would click OK, and you'd be able to insert, like, your home function or your tag function, like, let me go to the other picture. Do I still have runtime open? I closed runtime. Let's see, let me go back to the runtime. I can show you. Okay, so you'd like uh, create these buttons and the refresh buttons of the, the URL address bar and uh, the controls for uh, this ActiveX um, browser window. Okay, so let's see. So let's go back to Luna's project and basic setup is. Right here, so it'd be like this for as an example for the URL bar. And once you do that, uh, you pretty much uh, can add the URL bar, the back button, the forward button, just like an Internet Explorer browser bar. And these are the controls within King SCADA. Once you actually run the project, you'll also uh, be able to do that using the controls within. Internet Explorer. And we'll just enter runtime one more time so you can see it running. Okay, and if you wanted to display your map coordinates, you just read it here and simply 33.7892, comma, negative 118.3. And if all goes well, that should be the coordinates of the office. And that's our location right there on the map. And again, let's see, this is actually the same thing as if you wanted to install a browser window into KingView or KingSCADA. It would be the same steps. I use the same control uh, with this. Uh, if you notice, 
there's no back button and a URL bar. Well, I guess there's this, but uh, for the URL, you would type it here. So you must enter those separately within KingView. Okay, but this is a browser window. This uh, within KingSCADA. Uh, 